Two weeks ago, we found out that the Seattle PI was going up for sale and without a buyer will probably go under or become an all old online paper. This week, it was announced that the Seattle Times is asking employees to take a 12 percent pay cut to help the paper get through tough financial times. So is the Times headed down the same road as the Seattle PI? Could Seattle become a no newspaper town? Well, joining me now is Seattle Times publisher Frank Blethen to talk about the Times and its financial, financial status. Well, Frank Blethen, is the Times going to survive? The Times is going to survive, but we have a huge challenges about, uh, in front of us, especially over the next three years, getting through this recession. We got some huge liquidity needs, and quite frankly, um, our survival is enhanced by the prospects of the PI going out of business. Uh, we have run financial models that show that uh, we cannot be cash flow positive probably ever in the future again in the JOA model. Uh, without the JOA, we have a good chance to, to not only grow but thrive once we get through this two or three year crisis and into a future in a stable economy. Well, let's talk about your uh, current financial situation. I mean, it's been in the news here for some time. You've you know, cut back on employees there. The paper has actually shrunk. And now you're asking for staffers to take a 12% uh, pay cut. Now, is that going to be throughout the whole Times organization, even people like you? Yeah, actually, actually, they're the last, the, our union groups are the last ones to be asked to sacrifice the level of everybody else in the company. Um, we have been doing wage freezes and benefit cuts and a whole variety of things with all of our unaffiliated non-union employees for several years now. Um, so this is, in a sense, this is really catch up to what's happened to the other employees in the, in the company. And in fact, it's not any different than what's happening to newspapers and businesses anywhere around the country. Our goal in this is we've had to significantly reduce content and jobs. And our goal is to try to do everything we can now, which may hurt people in the pocketbook, which is very painful to all of us, but which preserves jobs. And keeps the paper alive. And I keeps take the it. paper alive and, and, and allows us to keep a good level of content. Okay, let's talk about the liquidity issues because I know that uh, you've been trying to sell a newspaper in Maine. Yes. You have property here in the Seattle area that you've been, uh, fairly prime property that you've been trying to sell in order to bring some cash in, uh, flow there. But this has to be the worst <laughs> time to try to sell any real estate. Well, we were a little ahead of the curve, but not enough because we made a decision a year ago to sell the main papers and to sell some of our very valuable South Lake Union, Union property. Um, by the time, and this was my family's commitment to sell non-core assets, and to us the core assets are the Washington papers, the Seattle Times, Jack Ma, Walla Walla, and our Issaquah weeklies but to sell non-core Washington State newspaper assets to be able to provide the liquidity to avoid as many cuts as we can and to get, get through, through this period of time. In uh, September, before the big crash in October, we actually had, uh, with our main papers and one of the South Lake Union properties, we had two firm sales that would have totaled over $100 million. Well, that evaporated in October, and we still have very interested buyers, um, but nobody can get any any credit now. Uh, so we're up against the same thing almost every other business. So what's your is. timeline now? Uh, how soon does this need to happen for you to survive? Well, we have we we have we have to figure out some way to to get some liquidity, uh, especially over the next uh, 36 to 48 months. Uh, and we have a variety of things that, you know, I won't get into all the detail now, but a variety of things that we're looking at uh, using, using these assets um, to, to be able to generate, generate some, some of those funds. We have to be very careful because right now the assets are temporarily depressed and we have to make sure we don't give them away at fire, fire, fire sale prices 
but still we can use them to, to raise some capital. What's happening to you, what's happening to the PI, this is happening to the newspaper business all throughout the country. I had a young girl last night, I was emceeing a uh, Latino Education Awards banquet and a young girl that's going to Central came up to me and asking me what do I do to get into journalism and I said it's a tough time and she wants to be a newspaper person but she may not have an opportunity. Actually, I think she is in a great position. Um, well, there have been massive layoffs throughout the country and in, you know, of journalists and anybody working at newspapers. A lot of those, those layoffs have come because of the broken ownership model, that newspapers, by and large, have become financial plays, leveraged buyouts, maximized profits, uh, and there has not been much regard for journalism or community by these absentee finan financial owners. But that model is, is imploded now. And we have, you know, we have newspapers like the Tribune Company and Minneapolis in bankruptcy. We have others in the verge of bankruptcies. They're all basically leveraged, leveraged buyouts uh, that, that went bad at the wrong time. And I think what we're going to see in the next three to five years is we're going to see a resurgence of newspaper journalism and newspaper journalists being hired because we're going to see newspapers starting to be sold at the old values and at values that uh, rate them based on being an ongoing enterprise dedicated to journalism and community service and that's still a very good business model. It's a, it's a lower profit margin than what these public companies have, have milked newspapers for for so years. So the model may, may change in some degree but you you think, are you here to say that the Seattle Times is going to survive? Uh, the Seattle Times is, is going to survive. Uh, I cannot guarantee it. I would have told you years ago I could guarantee it. I can't guarantee it in this economic environment. But I think, um, I think especially being freed, if we're freed from, from the constraints of the, of the JOA, we have a very good chance of becoming, uh, getting through this three-year period becoming uh, prof profitable and healthy and rebuilding staff and content. Frank Blethen, well let's hope that the Seattle Times does survive. I hate to see the, the uh, failure of the Seattle PI. I hope it uh, stays in some form actually online. Maybe you won't, but I think for journalism it would be good. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Enrique.